Don't do what? Well, I try, I try not to record you when you're eating, but it's such small gaps, windows of opportunity that I get that, you know, you're always snacking. Welcome back to the channel, folks. We've had a busy day today. We're setting off late. It's the middle of the afternoon, isn't it? It is indeed, but the sun's shining. The sun is shining. We're on our way west uh, to get quite a lot of work done to Tilly. Tilly is with us. She has had a Campbell change this morning, which is why we're a bit late. But Emily's been busy all morning setting up the van. It's all spick and span clean, isn't it? It is, and I've worked up enough to be able to have these. She's not too happy though, because all of her snack money has pretty much gone on fuel and she's already worried that the snack cupboard doesn't contain enough food. That is not full enough. But although I think it's pretty full. It's not. Don't you bought an extra Easter egg? I'm a place where I ate. <laughs> You're only supposed to have like one or two Easter eggs each. Don't just keep replacing them until Easter. What it's another two weeks till Easter, right? No, it's this weekend. Oh, it's this weekend. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's the Easter weekend. We are wild camping our way across the country, uh, like I say, to get some interesting work done to Tilly. And now I need to concentrate on the road. Uh, we're on the M25. It's not too bad, is it? No, it's all right today. Oh, big potholes. Arrived at 8 to 10 the more way. Arrived. You'll have to excuse the lime green socks and the uh, sandals. I know it looks ridiculous, but it is what it is. I thought I'd quickly show you the park up. Then don't know if you can hear, right on a busy main road. Tilly's just behind us there somewhere. My mum's inside. And then there's a beautiful walk, it looks like, down there that we're going to do in a minute. But as it's us, it is a bit of a dubious one. I'll show you what we've got right outside the van. Remnants of a case of Stella, and then to go with it, a pair of ladies' pants. So I'm gonna hazard a guess that we're at another popular nighttime activity spot. Emily's on with the dinner now though, starving. What's cooking good looking? A concoction from Johnny. I'm just adding a few little bits to it, that's all. I think it's some sort of curry. I hope so anyway. So Joan's dinner from last night, leftovers, heated up, and you've added some milk, and we're gonna have rice and bread or something. It's coconut milk, don't just say milk. Coconut milk. People think we're weird. <laughs> I think people think we're weird already. It's a true story. Hello. Dinner's ready. Do you want to bring a plate or a bowl? <laughs> you see, we're at another dogging spot, Joan. Is that what it is? Yeah, are you excited? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Emily. So Joan's put on a posh voice because she's on telly. So we've got curry, mixed vegetable, and rice. Nom nom. Mm hmm. Definitely. Get stuck in. It is a very noisy park up this one this morning. We're just off the M3 near Bagshot, so it's to be expected. It's a park up of two halves. Behind us, we've got a beautiful, tranquil setting of the woods, a beautiful sunrise and the bird song. And then behind me, just down there, is an incredibly busy rush hour main road. And it is prime dog walking time, so there are cars in and out. But we had a decent night's sleep, not too cold, down to about four when I got up at, what, five o'clock this morning? So. Joan would have been a little bit cold in Tilly, but not too bad. Emily is in her office, busy away working. We won't speak to her because she looks a bit, oh no, we're getting a wave. <laughs> we got a wave, folks. That's a, that's a good start in the morning. We're just waiting for AJ to get his lazy ass up. He is not getting out of bed this morning. He got himself all worked up yesterday. He knows when we're packing up the van to go away. And because we left late, he was in a knob mode all day, so he's absolutely exhausted. And then we're gonna take AJ for a walk and then we've got a busy day getting all the way over to Hereford where we're getting prepped for, fa uh, not Fanny's, Tilly's electrical update tomorrow, which is very exciting because then Joan can have heating. And then we're free. We're free to travel wherever we wanna go, free to roam. You and I, we've always been a different kind. Morning. Have you been on telly this morning? Or are you hiding? I'm hiding today. Hiding. I'm 
You haven't done your hair? No. Look, see? <laughs> Granny hair. Is it cold? Cold in the night? No, I'm hard, aren't I? Well hard. Well hard. <laughs> This is actually Ministry of Defence land, but it makes us a really, really pretty dog walk. If you search your soul, there's no need for pretending. Right then, we are coffeed up. AJ's walked, Emily's still working. Let's get to Hereford. A few hours, I think. We have just pulled up to a services. Summer is screaming at me behind my seat because she wants a lunch. Everybody wants lunch and we need a wee. So we're gonna have a short break here before we carry on to Hereford. So feed us. Oh, I need the food. Now for anyone that's been around a little while, you'll have seen these bottles quite a few times already and that's because we absolutely love them. This is Y Foods and it's the sponsor of this week's video. Now when you're on the road a lot like we are, whether it be traveling or rushing around trying to get things done, it's all too easy to grab a quick snack that's completely unhealthy for you. These are different. So this is a full meal replacement in a drink. So we're starving and this is gonna keep us full up till our next meal. So they're ideal. Not only that, they're really, really good for you. So inside of here, you've got macronutrients, micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, it's lactose free, gluten free, and they do a vegan range, which is ideal for people like Emily that don't eat meat. There are a huge variety of flavours to choose from, and somehow I've managed to wango the choco one with Emily, and she's got my banana. They're probably our top two, along with the berry, uh, but they do a taster pack, so you can get that and then check out all the different flavours. We cannot recommend them highly enough. Like I say, when you're on the go, something like this that is going to keep you full up, that is healthy, that is quick and easy, is perfect. We have an ongoing discount code, so if you want to head to the link in the description, I'll put a little thing on the screen now, and use our discount code, you'll get yourself 10% off. And like I say, give them a go, because honestly, absolutely love them. Once Joni and Emily have finished gassing inside a tilly, I can grab Emily, get her back in this van, and then we can carry on and get to Hereford. We've just dropped Joan off at an Airbnb in Hereford, emptied out all of her stuff so that the van's relatively empty so we can take it tomorrow. Well, we're gonna go tonight, but they'll start the work tomorrow on getting the electrics done. And once that's done, she'll be more off grid and then we can add the heat in and then we're free of all these tasks that we need to get done. So Emily's now gonna drive Tilly and I'm gonna drive this. I'm ready and I'm going to follow you, I think. Yeah, you want to follow me? Yeah, I want to pressurise the car behind you, then you've got to hear. <laughs> OK, let's go. AJ's confused because obviously Emily's been in the van all day and now she's missing. It's okay, bud. She won't be long. We'll see her in a minute. <sighs> we have arrived. Summer is not dinner time yet. If you live in or around the Hereford countryside, the pothole situation, I would be angry as a resident. The pothole situation is ridiculous also if you're wondering why we've bought the van somewhere else to have its electrics done and i'm not doing it myself i will explain all of that in a separate dedicated video i'll give you a quick overview of the electrics in this video but i'll do a proper in-depth or more in-depth um install electrical video to come soon i don't know if it'll be before or after but oh it's been a long day it's been a long day i'll see you in a bit <laughs> It is a whole another day here on the channel and Tilly is getting some important work done. As you can see, maybe up there, solar panels on, just finishing up. I'm here at Blue Fix Energy Solutions in Herefordshire getting this done. And like I say, a whole another video of full details about the install, what's gone in there, what the boys and girls have done and everything like that. But while we're here, Max, who's been working on the van, he's got a pretty cool van build himself. So I'm gonna give you a quick look at that one. Look at the space in here. I know, look. Like a family of ten in here, Max. <laughs> Imagine all the dogs you could have. Yeah, look at your face, you're like, mm, actually, no. 
I'm a cat person. Where are all the cats you could have? So this here is young Max, and Max has had this van for how long? Uh, a year today, actually. And why is it taking you so long to build it, Max? Because I spent eight months welding it all together, had to take all the box off and everything. So yeah, done a pretty good job. And how old are you? Uh, I'm 19. 19 years old, and this is his third van build. So yeah, it is a work in progress, but the outside is looking pretty cool. And the inside, when he's finished, like he's gonna have this pallet wood wall. He's got his van life wanker spice rack over there. So that's <laughs> officially official seal of approval from Lee and the Terrible if you got one of them, oh, so yeah. you are sorted. But I think 19 years old, he's bought this, he's welded it all back together, he's done all the work. It's absolutely, it blows my mind. Oh, Thanks. honestly, yeah. yeah, it's absolutely crazy that someone of like, <laughs> I don't want to say like of your age or if it can do this, but it's just it's and like you say you've been in it for years as well. So yeah, I think because wasn't like sixteen when we first like yeah, started speaking did my to mum's you. Yeah, van started about yeah. fifteen, I think. Yeah, fifteen years old we first met Max, and he's just come on leaps and bounds. Yeah, yeah, really, really cool. And if you want to see the progress, what the van was like, it's called Rusty Rose. It sounds like a bit of an old ladies channel that does. <laughs> So it's called Rusty Rose, uh, Rusty Rose Adventures. Adventures. Yeah, and you can find him on Instagram and YouTube. I'll put links in the description and they'll be popping around on the screen here. But yeah, if you want to look at a real van life achievement, this is the one to check out. I was just looking at the fridge because there's loads of stickers on here just to make sure our sticker was there, Max. It's in the middle. Like, there yes. we are, private <laughs> place. <laughs> place. Good Yay. boy. Uh, the piece de la resistance, he's got a log burner that he made himself out of a Calagas bottle. So I reckon it's nice and toasty in here in the winter. Look at this flash kit, he's even got himself a wind out awning. Even we haven't got a wind out awning. Is that salvaged from a scrapyard or something? No, it's a shop awning and I was going to buy one but someone gave me one, so. Oh, okay, and this is nearly all repurposed materials in here, right? Uh, used or repurposed, yeah, for yeah? the most part. Perfect. I'm not sure if my favourite bit of the van build so far is this back area because he cut the back off, it was longer, so he cut the back off and made it shorter. But I also like, you've got to like the front with that Roy's removals van on, that looks really cool, doesn't it? And it was off the road for four years without an MOT and Max brought it back to life, cost him next to nothing and he's, he's given it a whole new lease of life and made himself a home. So yeah, go and check him out on YouTube. We're on our way up to Wrexham now that Joni's got proper electrics. We're going to get a diesel heater fitted, but um, they've maybe pull in at B&M so they can go and spend all the money in there. So we're in Shrewsbury at the minute, but as you can probably tell by the shot you've just seen of us arriving, I have damaged the van. It looks a lot worse than it is, and basically what I've done, I don't know if you noticed, I'll put a shot in now with some arrows pointing to these um, metal uprights that hold up the the roof of like their out barn that the guys use at Blue Fix to. Um, work under and I um, reversed into one basically it was completely my fault I got I was watching them I knew they was there I was being very careful I got distracted looked away from the mirrors and just gave myself more time than what I had and I just backed into it basically sorry I didn't film it I completely forgot I just wanted to get unstuck from that post because I have left quite a bit of fanny on the side of their post so if you do ever go to blue fix you can see a little bit of fanny white paint left on their post but yeah like I said, it looks a lot worse than it is i've covered up the holes with gaffer tape because where the trim comes off it's held in with little plastic clips so i shouldn't really do that should i so i've um gaffer taped over those so that water and crud doesn't get in because obviously that's uh leaves my uh, insulation exposed luckily the insulation in there is still all good. It's nice and dry, still in its shape. I could sort of get in through the hole and have a poke around. And yeah, so that's all good, but I don't want to risk it getting wet. Now, I was going to give the van a wash. I can't do that now, so I need to order a new panel. No, not order a new panel. I looked at ordering a new panel, but if I do that, it's going to be jet black and it's going to stick out like a sore thumb where my other ones are all faded. I don't want to get a whole new set, so I'm going to have to find a scrapyard, get a new panel, order some of the little fixings uh, to an Amazon locker or something like that so I can fix it. So hopefully that gaffer tape will hold out and stop any water ingress until I can get that done. But obviously when these things happen on the road, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. My second problem, this is a much bigger problem, I think, I think I have a gas leak. So as we were driving along, Emily and I could both smell a very strong smell of gas. So I've darted in the back, shut, pulled over obviously, darted in the back, shut off the gas. And now I'm gonna investigate this problem while they're in there have a good old time shopping. There's not too many places where it could be leaking from. So behind my cooker here, just down there, is my main gas fitting for the cooker itself. Absolutely smothered in dust, but I can get a hand in there and that feels pretty good. Then underneath the cooker, up in here, there's all these um, 
like really small gas pipes that obviously feed uh, the two different hobs and whatnot. Now we do bung this up with tea towels when we're driving because they rattle around uh, like you wouldn't believe. So it's quite possible we could have dislodged something from under there. But to be honest, they look pretty good. So the only other place then is underneath here, which is where you find our main gas fittings that are under here. That's the main one coming in. And then each of these, that one feeds the cooker and that one feeds the external barbecue. So I'm just gonna turn them back on and see if the smell is as bad as what we think it was and then i'll go from there i've given it about 10 15 minutes and i can't smell any gas so i can only assume we drove through somewhere with a horrendous gas leak and could smell it or one of the um, connection points on our manifold that isn't being used had maybe jingled itself loose a bit, which would cause then gas, because that valve would then be slightly open and that could cause gas. Um, when I went back, I didn't really give it much time. I just made sure they was all off to properly check. So I just made sure they was all off, but I can't smell gas at the minute, but I'm definitely gonna have to, I'm gonna shut it back off while we continue our drive up to uh, Wrexham, because it's, you know, gas leak does worry me somewhat. So. Yeah, definitely going to be keeping an eye on that. There is one problem, one broken thing in this van that I can fix, but I was going to do it now uh, while I'm bored waiting for the shopping to be done. But um, yeah, it's raining, so we're going to save that till we get to our next park up. Apparently, we're not done shopping. She's got her snacks, and now we're going where? <coughs> go outdoors. <laughs> You're choking on your licorice. Yeah. We're going to go outdoors because apparently Emily needs new boots, and where we're going, because yours are leaking, right? Mm -hmm. uh, where we're going, leaky boots. I'm not going to do you any favours, are they? No. Oh, shut up. I've got loads of room behind me. It's only a bush. Jump. I'm not going to make that. Go on. I'm going to try. Well, it's a big jump, isn't it? <laughs> Parkoured it across, didn't I? There's some proper bank holiday traffic right there and for once, for once, I am on the opposite side of it. You can tell it's British springtime as well because the weather is all over the place. Pissing down rain to bright sunshine in minutes. Although maybe because we're skirting along the Welsh border, it's just wows in rain, just slightly <laughs> drifting over the edge. Always rains in Wales. It does always rain in Wales, which is not a good thing because we're heading there uh, in a day or two's time. Uh, I know this video is not much of a travel video and it's lacking in fun facts, but Emily does have one of her top tips. I do have a top tip for you. If you are an outdoorsy person or shop in Go Outdoors, they do this price match guarantee online. So if you go in there and you find an item, but you can find it online for cheaper and it has to be a UK based store, they have to have it in stock and it has to be in your size. But if you can match them criteria, then they will match the price and take an additional 10% off. So my boots were like 160 odd quid in shop, but I found it online, matched the criteria and got it for 121 pounds. Oh my God, so cheap. I love it. That is such a good top tip. Isn't How it? much were your boots? Wait, no. 120 something pounds. You don't. Plus, plus all the Easter eggs you've got stashed around the van. I found one in the door, <laughs> in Emily's door thingy down there. Show them your Easter egg down there. You shouldn't be looking. Little stash down there. I'm only joking, obviously, if we do a lot of walking, we are heading into Wales. Emily walks AJ every day, so we do spend a lot of money on decent boots when you're in them all the time, and yeah, so. Constantly, constantly. So they do have to be nice fitting and just be all comfy cozy. So yeah. Now, on to Wales. On to Wrexham, baby. Yeah. Finally made it to Wrexham now that all the shopping's done and what a cracker of a park up have we found? Oh, we found a beautiful one. It's right on a canal. It is a very busy canal though. We came at like rush hour, which was a really good find actually for a little bit of afternoon entertainment. And then we went for a lovely dog walk and it was just really nice and peaceful, wasn't it? With the sun shining through and stuff. Yes, yeah, so there's a beautiful walk straight. You're straight on the towpath here so you can follow the canal all the way along and eventually you come to a viaduct. I cannot tell you the name. Fun facts is not doing a 
research, <laughs> so I'll pop it on the screen now. But there's like, we've seen about three viaducts just along here, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, it's crazy the amount of viaducts just in one little area. Yes, and one of them you can walk over, and it's really surreal because they, they extend the river... Uh, the canal, sorry, over the river that flows underneath. Uh, Emily bottled it, but me and Joni went across and had a cracking little walk across the viaduct. I'm a little bit concerned about the fella that's parked next to us though. His um, log burner is a little bit worrying, so hopefully that's not going to be going on like we're in a bit of a fire risk, I would hazard a guess. Yeah, it's not a good idea, is it? <laughs> it's not a good idea. But we're just about to have dinner, but before that I've got one repair that I can do to the van, which I'm going to try and fix now, here in the wind and the rain. Good luck. Yeah, I'm going to need it. It is incredibly windy, so I'm going to hold the tripod and show you this. So up until recently, we've been having to use this spanner to open our door. The problem being our original door handle, I don't know if you can see that. This was our original, and this should be square piece. It sits over the catch, and then when you turn it, it just unlocks it. But as you can see, it's snapped and broken away. Literally two minutes before we left, the new one turned up, so that's what it should look like. So I just need to replace that, and then we should have a working door handle. Not easy in the wind. There we go, one working door handle. Whenever we're parked on a walk, it's so hard to open the oh. door. You get a workout, didn't you? Dinner time. We're having skinny pizzas, something you've all seen on this channel many times. But Joan's bought her own cooking utensils, haven't you? What have you bought? Ridge monkey. Van Life Wanker Ridge monkey. <laughs> but what do you that. actually want to have for dinner, Joan? Pot noodle. <laughs> <laughs> now that I can sort you out with. <laughs> If you've not seen us do skinny pizzas before, they're not called skinny because they're good for you, they're called skinny because they're on skinny bread. So I think they derived from one time we ran out of food really and we had some, what are they called? What are they called? Wraps! Yeah, we had some wraps, some tomato puree, a bit of pineapple because I'm a weirdo and like pineapple, uh, some mushrooms and some cheese. So you just chuck all that on and then we whack them under the grill. But not everyone's got an oven, so I'm going to do mine, well Emily's going to do mine under the grill and then Joni's going to attempt it in a ridge monkey. Is that right? Is that what we're yes, doing? yes it is. I'm quite intrigued to see how this is going to go actually because I'm um and ahhing about the old ridge monkey. So I think the ridge monkey is going to be more like a pizza toasty. Ooh. Sounds good, right? That sounds good, yeah. Do we have a skinny pizza dance? A skinny pizza dance? Yeah. Oh, you go. Because <laughs> it feels skinny. <laughs> and that's, how's the song go? <laughs> <laughs> Skinny pizza, skinny, skinny pizza, skinny, skinny pizza. <laughs> Can't wait to see Joni's dance. No dancing <laughs> here. <laughs> Is it bad? I'll just want to like. <laughs> Gonna get involved, do you? Yeah, you do that one. You do that one. Let's, no matter of a joint effort. Let's all see control freak Emily at work. <laughs> it's because there was like a dollop and I was like, I just want to smooth it out. Joan's 70 years old, she's raised four kids, and you think she can't manage a, a piss poor pizza. That's right. Yeah, but don't forget, Emily is the connoisseur of all food. This is true. <laughs> that is also very true. And plus, I'm practicing for when I've got to be the carer. Put the mushrooms on, put the mushrooms on, put the mushrooms round the edge. Oh, it's progressed. We've not just got a song, we've got choruses. <laughs> we've got, oh, we've got it all, I'm telling you. We're getting a bit technical in here to uh, complete what I think is probably a simple task. We're just cooking pizza. <laughs> Big hob, little hob, ridge monkey, no ridge monkey, one wrap, two wraps, double cheese, single cheese. You've got to you've got to try and cover all bases and I'm thinking the bigger ring because then it's going to make more heat around it rather than a little one. So Emily's so... saying size does matter. It's looking good. I 
think it looks good. To be fair, you think all food looks good. Oh, that's true, actually. No, not mint. <laughs> Have a wash right there, son. And oh. off she goes. So obviously we cooked up dinner and didn't blow up. I have done, I didn't film it, I'm sorry, I forgot I forgot, forgot to film. I did the washing up liquid test over all the joints and I can't find the leak, so I don't know what that gas smell was. I think it was just a fluke one-off, maybe one of the knobs had gone a bit funny or something. You can never trust a knob to you, do its job, can you? You cannot, no. <laughs> just shut up and get on with it. Uh, so we will obviously be keeping a close eye on that. Um, with the electrical install in Tilly, we're going to do a full video on that of what's gone in there and what it's going to be running and I'm going to wait a little while and use it to let you guys know how well it's working so hold fire on your questions on that that will come soon but with vans it's just constant isn't it things break <sighs> things don't work whether you've got an old van that you converted and you're three years in and you're still doing adaptations and fixes or whether you just bought a new one and you're doing upgrades it is constant so if you think van life uh, takes you away from all of that kind of thing it's not it's constant upgrades modifications and if you're stupid enough to reverse your van into a post then yeah, you're gonna be doing repairs. Constantly, I can't believe you've done that. I seriously can't. It's, I gotta hand it to you though, it's the first time in how many years, so I can't be too hard on her, but still. I couldn't see for all the Easter eggs that Emily oh, had on the dashboard, and I was up, trying to push honestly. them all out the way, and I just, I couldn't see my mirrors because of the Easter eggs, and we was towing that trailer with all the Easter bunny <laughs> chocolate in, and all sorts, weren't we? It has to be done, I'm sorry. Uh, on that note, we are gonna end it there. We're gonna get an early night, because like I say, we're heading soon to get the diesel heater fitted, so we've got a lot to pack in. Travel videos will commence soon, and we will see you on the next one, which is all about electrical. Yay! Right. <laughs>